Hello. Hello, hello. Here we are. Inside the wonderful world of Star Citizen. And before we exit, I'm not even going to look. I didn't even look. I'm looking the other way. I'm not even looking. Right, we take the usual bet on uh, <clears throat> what room number we're in. My guest today um, is as I try to absorb the green. I've seen the grey. A little gold patch. Nice little rail. Hold on tight. I'm guessing that I'm in room five. That's what my guess is today. And I'm coming out. Poor Olisari turns around. He looks at the number. It's number eight. He guessed five. It was number eight. He's wrong by three. Never mind. I could have been wrong by more. Let's sprint down here. No running in the hallway. Oops. Now the question today is how to keep it tight in a universe that's ever expanding. How to keep it tight in a hole that's loose. How to keep it tight when there are barriers all around you. The chevrons gleam. You don't know which way to turn. You're lost inside the space station of your dreams. Look up at the cathedral lighting. Turns out you're just in the workplace. You spin around like a monkey on a spit. I don't even know what that means, but I'm coming down the stairs now to the sound of the hideous beats that I have programmed into this software. Apologies. Heli Bear. Heli Bear's frozen in his spot. What can a Heli Bear do? Is he a bear from hell? Or is he just a misspelled Hello Bear? Goodbye to Heli Bear. I'll leave you in the hell of your own making and I'll come over to the tonsole. Pressing the magic F reveals the number of ships at your disposal. I'll just give you a quick rundown. This is a loner. I don't know why I've got it. That is a loner for, I believe. I believe that's a loner for my Terrapin, which I don't have yet. Drake speaks for itself. It's the ultimate cut lass. Uh, this is the Herald. The fastest number on the block. The Kruger. I don't have much truck with it, to be honest. This freelancer is the is the placeholder for my uh, how do you call it now the gold hunter the prospector and this RSI Aurora MR I don't even know what it's doing there I've literally no idea anyway before we proceed I'm going to take what's it going to be I would actually like to take the freelancer. Well, I appreciate your candor, revealing my ship's location like that to all and sundry. Pad number eight. That was a room we were in. We were in room eight, and now we're at pad eight. No plan, except to ask you all how to keep it tight in a loose universe. How do you keep it tight in a verse with undefined edges? In the vastness of space, we can only run down the corridors of our dreams. We can go up the apples and pears, and gazing into the inky blackness, we realise that the freelancer is right there. Just appreciate the majesty of the freest lancer of them all. The red flashing tailgate of the shiny, polished lancer. A ship that is not only free, but it could be used medically to operate on a boil. Now, I don't usually go in the back exit, and I don't want any comments. Look at this, it opens. This freelancer is like my soul. The door opens, I look inside, and it's empty. My soul awaits the implementation cargo 3.0. Oh wait, don't forget to shut the door to your soul. Look at that. Oh, what's happened now? I never like it when I hear that. I always think I'm in trouble. Never mind, I have no real plan for this stream other than to observe the bunks. What can we learn from the, from the placement of these cushions? Here, there's a cushion at, at the right hand end. Here, there's a cushion. Oh, also at the right hand end. It does look cosy in there, I must say. Look at that. You could be on the 
internet while you sleep. The very thought of it fills me with joy. Now then friends, how to push the envelope, how to fold the envelope so it can be pushed. How do you fold a piece of paper more than nine times without becoming your own vectored origami? It's flight time. As we rise above the station, I can hear that we've attracted a little stowaway. Let's just see what we can find out. Rear view. The majesty, the glory that is Olisar. As we pull away, I can only wish you Happy Christmas. Now then. Colonel Hooknose is in the chat. He's saying get away from my ship. Meanwhile, clockwork mishap. That's a kind of cool name, isn't it? Clockwork mishap, I like that. It's just got to be a wind-up though, isn't it? <laughs> uh, he's saying, how do I join my friend? Meanwhile, back in La La Land, uh, Downer needs to adjust the volume of the music. One second, folks while we take the edge off. Right, now if I'm not mistaken, I've, I had the... I had the uh, definite feeling that someone was sneaking on board. I'm just going to go and check that out. Not that I can do anything about it. Armed as I am, only with a Swiss Army knife. That was a bit strange. Right, okay. If I find anybody on this ship, I shall corkscrew them to death. Now it's my feeling that some some bod, yeah, jumped into the airlock and then secreted themselves into the turret. This is very problematic, isn't it? How do we how do we discover? Right. Ah, no. I just realised if I do this, I'll spin around like a like the original spinning Jenny. Jenny, could you head on back and whip us up a cup of something hot? Oh, don't start that again. Right. Okay. Now, let's. Let's just have a little think now. If somebody's... Look, what is, what's the likelihood, right? What is the likelihood? Somebody climbs aboard the ship, right? Somebody climbs aboard the ship. They get into the turret. What are their intentions likely to be? Okay, let's go through the intentions. A. They might well. There he is. Look. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Hmm. His intentions might be honourable. You see, he might be literally sitting there thinking, "I hope we go somewhere soon, because I really want to help this guy out. He seems like a nice guy. His name's Downer. I'm called Fuzzball the Eighth, or Curly McGee." And I feel that I just want to help him from the turret side. I just want to assist him in whatever dreams he may be pursuing. On the other hand, he might be thinking, here he comes, look. He's given up. Go and meet the fellow, see what he's all about. Here he is, look. Who is it? Captain Alley. See you later, son. Oh, that was short and 
to the point. Captain Alley has jumped ship like the proverbial rat. Does that mean I'm sinking? Who knows? I'll say it again, how do you keep it tight in a loose universe? We shall go and see if we can assist this fellow now. I don't want I don't like the thought of Captain Alley floating out there on his own. What can we do? Let's see if we can find him. I would assume that Captain Alley would head back to where he came from. Captain Alley, where have you gone? Habeck isn't really useful. Come on, boy, where are you? Is this a US server, this is, isn't it? What can we say about Captain Alley? He's definitely left the area. Alright, look, let's just go and do a quick... Let's go and see what we can do. Let's go and see Tessa. Uh, and see what she's all about. Tessa, what are you all about? Tessa. Do they ever call you Vanessa? Is it this one? Is it that one? Is it that? I must go to Korea at some point. I, I am, after all, a member of WHP. I should be going down there, sort of like asking for papers, right? Let's. Let's just have a quick look at the old ship. Is it straight? Look at that. Look at the majesty. Look at the light. Look at the reflections. Look at the polish on that, mate. Let's just check this out. Look at this. Wonderful that is. Look at that. That's wonderful, isn't it? There he is. Give us a little wave. I can, and I will help you. You point me in the right direction, Tessa, and I'll I'll go to the ends of the earth for you. It's not saying much when you're in deep space, though, is it? It's like saying, I'll go down the shop for you, Tessa. You need a packet of 20 Benson, I'm there. You need a packet of Rizzler's love, I'll nip down the local night garage and pick you up some. Tessa, I'd fetch your shopping when you were an old lady. I respect you that much. I respect you. You're like you're like you're like uh, John Tracy on Thunderbird Five, aren't you? Lonely, lonely but stoic. Right, let's get a bit of speed up. The last time I did this, I made a very grave error in the sense that I just ploughed directly into the thing and didn't didn't actually get any points. Now, one question that I do have, apart from how to keep it tight in a loose universe, is what happens to my cash? Like, previously when I've sort of registered to be in the PTU, that registering has enabled me to keep hold of my assets in the sense that I've still got my, my cash and I've still got my suits that I bought. Whereas previously, when I haven't registered for the PTU, I've just been too busy and I've, like, gone off and just waited for the whole thing to come out on the, the live build I've I've uh, I can't remember which way I said it now anyway when I've been on the PTU I've kept my stuff and when I haven't I've lost it all ah, easy pickings come on we'll see about that mate maybe I am actually if I don't get them come on keep going Hear the bleeps, feel the peeps. It's just a matter of 
meeps before we get to the geeps. Come on! I'm doing 480, that's way too fast. Come on, get me in, get me in, get me in. I'm in trouble here. Now the question is, of course, the eternal question. <laughs> is it going to be Jenny? Whip us up a cup of something hot. Or is it going to be, I'm glad I could be part of your story too. Jenny, can you head on back? And just quickly, if you don't mind, love, whipping us up a cup of something hot. Well, Captain, as I've said to you before, I will fulfill uh, my water-bearing duties with glee. Well, I've got no, nothing against you, Captain. It's just that sometimes I feel that you leave it a bit too long. You get a bit over-dehydrated. And listen, don't interrupt me, Jenny. I've told you what I want. I just want a hot beverage. I want you to whip it up. I want you to head on back. Yes, Captain, I hear you, but I just want you to make sure that you keep an eye on the regis. All right? Keep an eye on the scanners, because we suddenly come up against hostile uh, ships. Who knows what may ensue? Listen, Jenny, I've told you before, I've got my eye on it. It doesn't matter. My dehydration levels are none of your business. I'm the captain. I don't appreciate your tone. I'm telling you to get me a hot beverage. And if you don't, there will be consequences. Yes, the consequences are exactly what I'm worried about, Captain. It's your uh, uh, lack of H2O within the system. It's blurring your vision. You've been at it for hours. I have been at it for hours. And that's why I'm asking you, who do nothing except sit around in the back of the ship while I fly everything and check the scanners and look at the regis, I'm asking you to get me a cup of something hot. Now, would you just do that? Okay, Captain. I'm, I'm complying with your wishes, um, but I will definitely be having words with you later now if something happens listen jenny i'm not joking i need a drink i need you to get back and get me a cup of something hot captain i had listen captain listen jenny i am I'm, it will be shown on the flight recorder that you have disobeyed me and you've dallied around when your captain is dehydrated and needs a hot beverage you have been dallying in the fore aft stern area of the ship i need you to go down to the galley uh, excuse me, Captain, are you recording this? Of course I'm recording this. Everything gets recorded on the black, black box flight recorder in case something happens. Captain, this is exactly what I'm worried about. That now the last words that are going to be heard from me as me arguing about whether to get you a hot drink or not. Okay, Jenny, I just want you to nip, whip on back and head me up a cup of something hot. Now, hang on, let me rephrase that for the record. I want you to head on back and whip me up a cup of something hot. Is that okay? Yes, Captain, I will do that for you now. But I want it noted that I'm, I don't agree. Okay, your, your disagreement is noted, Jenny, but please, I'm parched, I'm spitting feathers here. Please, get me a bleeding drink. All right, I will comply, Captain. Good, thank you, Jenny. What can we say? What can we say to this? You know, Jenny warned the captain of the dangers of dehydration. The captain did not listen. And this is the result. Oh, hello, Tessa. You that no problem. I don't see how it's neat, Tessa. There's nothing neat about it. I think one of the questions that I'm offering is how do you keep it tight in a loose universe? And I would suggest Tessa Bannister that thinking of everything as neat, even the death of pilots, dehydrated or no, thinking of their deaths as neat is definitely not keeping it tight. Right, here we go. If only I could get back in my ship, I would be a happy little bunny. There we are, he's done it. I must say, I am getting better at that. Oh. Well, it's funny, isn't it? 
the only time that it actually says enter turret, I actually do enter the turret. Now I happen to know that this is something that they're going to be looking at. Oh, that's gorgeous, that is, isn't it? Look at that. Let's just have a little little play with this. Right, that's enough of that. Hopefully this won't eject me out the back door. Never close the door in my face, for I will pull my weapon and erase you from the place. Alright then. I don't really know what to say to this, except that that was a successful mission. Oh, yes. Actually, boys and girls, ladies and germs, ladles and jelly spoons, we are going to now deal with those that call themselves Nine Tails. Why do they have Nine Tails? Is it a reference to some vicious punishment that was enacted upon the old sailing vessels of times gone by? The seven seas have since dried up and we are faced with the brutal nonchalance, the indifference, the non-negotiability of the Nine Tails gang. Well, it looks like they've legged it. Alright, well that's a suitable place to end the stream. I would like to say that I appreciate you watching uh, me as I drift through the universe like a silver whale with a minnow in his brain. The yellow frame doorway suggesting that although bananas may lie on the inside, the slippery exit is open to all. I have no idea what that means, um, but I'm happy to be part of your story too. Good night, and thank you for watching. <laughs>